How are we doing folks? We're back on photography trail and uh, we're away at Waterholm up in Scotland again our favourite locale and we're just on a Brit stop actually one of our little uh, night stopovers and we, well we didn't we just kind of stumbled upon it but it's absolutely full of raw deer there's raw deer all over the place Every, I'm, I'm just sat here having a, a glass of vino and uh, there's two two in the field just there I've got the big camera on there's a load behind me in a field and there's there's four or five up there and I've, I've never seen so many raw deer such a concentration of them and they're not fenced they're not farmed or anything and it's fantastic so we're gonna have a tea I'm gonna finish this off and then we're gonna go and have a mooch and see if we can get some shots of these raw because there's some real bonny bucks around as well so hopefully we'll get a few pics to show you cheers right we've had a scram we've had a one glass of wine <laughs> that's enough so we're going to head out and see if we can get a few pictures of these uh, these raw deer I'd say there's some nice books around some beautiful books so I'm going to put the 300 on actually 300 wick converter it's a light no it's not it's not going dark but it's just gives me a bit of, a bit of a better chance so we'll take that 150 to 600 off and we'll get this 300 on also I don't know if you remember but I mentioned it on the shorty and owl video when we were in Mull I mentioned about getting a screen and I've got one so that at the moment it's uh, it's proving pretty good actually I've just uh, done a little bit of filming in this field and just having that extra you know it's a seven inch screen and it makes all the difference you can just track better you know and uh, yeah I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of a game changer that you know better video so let's go and see if we can use it to get some in this field Well, I've arrived at this edge of the of the field. It's a massive field with well, it's full of round bales, and there's a there must be I don't know. It's probably seven that I can count at the moment. Now it's quarter to seven, and the light's all right. But I'm just thinking in the morning. I'm gonna come down in the morning. I've, I've got my hockey V3, you know, the ground hide. I brought that with me. I'm thinking. If I get up early enough, I reckon I could possibly sneak it down the side of one of these bales, get in it, and then just hope that they'll come near because they're just sat in the field. There's quite a few of them and they've just got their heads popping up. So the grass is long enough for them to hide in. And I'm just, I reckon I could get some cracking shots, but it's just that concealment. I either two things I've, I've got the I've got me ghillie blanket so I could get me camel on chuck the ghillie blanket on and then just lie down the side I reckon that might be a favorite actually because I'm not messing around them with the hide because it's going to make a bit of noise so I reckon we'll see what we can get tonight and then we're going to come back in the morning get up proper early get the ghillie blanket get the 3d camel on see what we can do I reckon that's a plan definitely
there, well, that's another one in the can. Totally unexpected, really. As I was saying uh, at the beginning of the film, we're off up to the Highlands again, having a bit of a mooch round, and we're going to end up on Mull, all being well. And this was just a Brit stop that we happened upon, and the concentration of raw deer is unbelievable. You know, we're probably only, I don't know, 20 miles from Edinburgh, and uh, it's amazing. I mean, it just shows you, you've got to take advantage, really, of the circumstances when they come up. So, as I said, I weren't really expecting to do any, any deer photography, not yet, not till we were up in the islands. And, yeah, last night I come out, got a bit of B-roll, got, uh, got some stills, nothing fantastic, you know, no close-ups. I didn't get any close-ups this morning, to be honest, but I think sometimes it's a place where you, you know, you've got to kind of work on it, maybe put a hide up and that. Um, I've got a few nice nice shots, I've got some nice habitat shots, you know, I've got, uh, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you can see actually, if I lift it up, let me see there, there's, there's three, three stood in the field now, and the motorhome's only there, so it's a, it's an absolutely brilliant place, I'll definitely be coming back here sometime, so that's, that's it for this one, only a short one, and, uh, I'm going to get back, get a coffee on, get some brekkie and we're going to hit the road and we're heading for, I think we're heading for Fort Augustus today. So yeah, yeah, a couple of hundred miles I think, about 100, 190 miles, something like that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up if you've liked it, hit the subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you on the next one.